be able. Allah will cause a kind of a metal sheath to come over his neck to stop this sword from, or knife from cutting his neck. So he'll grab him by the hair, back of his hair of his head and grab him by his feet and throw him into that river of fire that is there with him. People will see him go into the fire and appear to just burn up and disappear. And they'll say, ah, he killed. But, Prophet Muhammad said, he will fall into paradise. But the fire that you see is paradise. And the paradise that you see is the fire. So he said, if you are caught in a place, because you will try to flee, but he is moving around the earth like, Lightning, as Prophet said, like wind-driven rain, rain driven by the wind, just sweeping across the land. So if you're running and you have to, he happens to catch you, there he's there with his fire and his river of fire and his river of, of cool white water. Prophet said, if you find yourself in that situation, dip your head into the fire. And of course, this will be a big trial for you. Because a fire is not going to just look like a fire, like you may see fire on television, it's going to appear as a real fire, the heat will be there, the whole thing, like lava, you know, burning away. You will feel the intensity of the heat, but he says, put your head in. When you dip your head in, you will find that it is cool water. And this will give you the strength to stand firm. Because if you don't, if you don't break it, if it's coming at you at that point, I'm not saying, I remember I said flee, but if you get caught, what to do? Don't wait for him to really destroy your situation by bringing back your parents and them talking to you, I mean, which will become such a fitna for you. He said, break it, take it straight on right then, stick your head into the river of fire. And you, that will give you the strength to stand forth, because you'll know he's a liar. Because what will appear to you to be fire, you know it's not. So, if you hear that he's coming, run for Mecca and Medina. Because these are the two places where you cannot enter. So flee, run, get in whatever means of transportation you have or whatever, get to Mecca or Medina if you can. Prophet Muhammad had said that that young man who makes that sacrifice, he will be the greatest martyr in the sight of Allah. Most of us won't have the courage to do that. So let us not try to find out. Okay, inshallah, we'll take questions uh, for 10 minutes or so, then we have Salat al Isha to do. No, he did not give the name of that young man. And it's not important. It's not important. We will know him when he stands. Uh, brother is asking about the hair of Dajjal. I mean, a number of descriptions have been given. The point is that the well-known one is that it will be like the heads of small snakes coiled together. That, in terms of what we see of hair today, what is closest looking like that would be that like the, the uh, wool of the sheep in locks and in patches as opposed to individual hairs because when they see it described as curly people might mistakenly think it's curly like you know people who have individually curly hair but it's not individually curly but groups of curly hair together like locks more so okay brother Zaskin if somebody tells you the jail is in a country how do you know it's a true story well see brother the point is that if you hear that he is coming towards your town, if you hear that, I mean when Dajjal appears in the world, uh, knowledge about him will spread very rapidly. We have knowledge, we know who a Dajjal is supposed to be. If we hear the happening similar to what has been described to us by Rasulullah then we know it is true. If somebody says, it's a television camera and it's crew coming and it's a Dajjal. Let me know it's nonsense. Okay. So when the descriptions match the descriptions of Rasulullah then we know it is true. Uh, that was the Dajjal, meaning that he is already alive. He is somewhere on an island in the 
South Sea, some people felt it was amongst the islands of Indonesia, and there are hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of little islands there, that it may be one of them. Allah knows. How could he be? No, it didn't say it's from Iran. He will appear from Iran. Okay? Yeah. So he may be there, chained up, etc. But when he will make his grand entrance, so to speak, it will be in Khorasan. Is Dajjal going to be killed? Was not, you weren't here when I was speaking? I explained in quite detail that Prophet Isa will kill him. Specifically, Prophet Isa will kill him by his own hand. Okay, brother's question, why is he called the Antichrist and not, you know, anti-Moses or, or anti-Muhammad or, you know, anti-somebody else, right? Well, as he said, as is narrated there what he said, that I am Al-Masih. So he will claim to be the Christ. But which Christ are we talking about? This is the Christ that Christians believe is God. This links up with his claim that he is God. That's why it's referred to as the Antichrist. What are the signs indicating the coming of the Dajjal other than the three years of famine? Well, as I said, we know that it is after the time of the Mahdi. That's the other major sign. Beyond that, it is the three years of the famine that the Prophet ﷺ gave. When the Dajjal is killed, is that the end of the world? No. When the Dajjal is killed, then Prophet Isa will establish his rule on the earth. And he will rule the earth for a length of time. The Islamic law will gather the whole, cover the whole earth. And he will rule it, not as a, with a new Sharia, he will establish the Sharia that we know. The Quran will still be there, used in prayer, etc., etc. And uh, Prophet Isa, towards the end of his reign, the Ma'juj and Ya'juj, or Ya'juj and Ma'juj, the Gog and the Magog, they will be released. The barrier which will hold them back will crumble, which Allah speaks about in the Quran. Surah Al-Kahf, Surah Al-Kahf, that uh, Dhul Qarnain built that barrier and held them back. But a time would come and they will be digging away at it. But a time will come when the barrier will fall and they will come out on the people like waves of an ocean, wave on top of wave. And they will be massacring people left and right. Righteous people will be killed. They will flee. They will run to the mountaintops. Prophet Isa will head to a fortress with his with the people that are with him. They will, he will not be able to stand before the Ya'juj and Ma'juj. They will be indefeatable. And in the fortress he will raise his hands along with the believers and they will pray to Allah to, to send uh, help for them. And that night Allah will send a particular kind of worm which will bur bur burrow its way into the base of the heads of the Ya'juj and Ma'juj and by the morning they all will be dead. And there are the descriptions going on about how their bodies will be carried away and the, 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 their military equipment which they used uh, will be used to burn fires for so many years afterwards, all the material that they had. And then towards the end of the, the, the rule of righteousness, uh, Allah will send a wind which will pass under the armpits of the believers and take their souls. And when all of the believers' souls are taken, when no one on the earth will say, Allah, no one will mention the name of Allah, then the Qiyamah will begin. Our brother asking about the difference between the um, Al-Masih and Al-Masih. There is some linguistic uh, differences which Scholars, you know, differed over whether it, it, the name that is applied to Dajjal is Al-Masih or Al-Masih. Both of them are narrated. I don't think it's worth going into at this point here and now. Uh, he asked me to mention about the importance of Salah on the Prophet Muhammad I really don't know the relevance of it to the topic that we're dealing with now. You know, beyond 
the fact, of course, that whenever Prophet's name is mentioned, we should uh, mention his name. Prophet had said, whoever prays for him when his name is mentioned, then Allah does the same for him ten times. When was the Dajjal born and how long has he been in the cave? Allahu Ya'lam. Allah knows best. Could you explain Ahmed Thompson's book about the Dajjal? There is no explanation beyond saying that it's nonsense. It's not really a book about Dajjal. Not worth buying. And, you know, people get into, you know, Dajjal being masonry. You know, because the masons like to use the symbol of the eye. Or it's the United States because they got a pyramid and there's an eye on the top of the pyramid. Somebody mentioned to me that they went to Mecca. And while they're in Mecca, they noticed that the police force, they all have badges with an eye in the middle. You know, what does this mean? Is the Saudi regime is Dajjal? No, that doesn't mean. No, Dajjal is Dajjal. Huh? It's an individual. It's not a system. It's not, you know, an organization. It's not a cult. It is an individual who's coming. Is Dulkarnain Alexander the Great? No, Alexander the Great was a pagan who worshipped idols. Dulkarnain was a righteous individual who received guidance and inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the Jal is killed by Isa, will his followers also be killed? Will they become Muslims under, or will they become Muslims under Isa's rule? Many of them will be killed because with the killing of the Jal, a massive battle will take place uh, where, wherein the um, forces of Dajjal will be decimated, the Jews will be hunted down amongst them in time, from Jesus time of course, the uh, cross will be broken, and the pigs will be killed, and the, the destruction of the Jews will be so great that the trees and the stones, etc., will call out to, to the people, will call out to the people, O oh, Muslim, there is a Jew behind me, come and kill him. And uh, Muslims will kill the individual with the exception of the box thorn tree. This is the only tree which will not say anything. But we can still find them and kill them. Those who are with Dajjal. If the Dajjal is alive and chained up in a cave, how will his parents give birth to him after 30 years? His sister didn't hear that that was a mistaken or wrong description of uh, Dajjal's birth. The hadith is not authentic. Uh, does the lack of mention of the imams about Dajjal on the members, does this mean that he will appear in these days? Allah knows best. I just said it's something to think about. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, nashadu wa la ilaha ant, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka.